Good morning, Om Shanti, everyone. Thank you for joining. And if you're ready, let's get comfortable. Sit in a comfortable position and we'll start with our chanting of Om five times. Let's take a deep inhalation. Oh. And relax. All right, as usual, we're going to go ahead and start with our deep inhalation and exhalation, making sure our immune system is working properly. Okay, so let's do five minutes of deep inhalation and exhalation. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. and exhale inhale and exhale visualize i the soul and using this power to charge this battery the body all the senses and organs are in my control. And as I energize this body, each and every cells of my body are rejuvenated. Visualize the bottom, middle, and top portion of your lungs. The capacity is getting higher. As you inhale, breathe in positivity. And as you exhale, release anything that we are holding on negative. Negative information, negativity from the news, negative energy that has been going around in the world. Just release that. Just consider yourself to be a master almighty authority. And visualize and say to yourself that whatever I think, I become. When we talk about the wellness, it is not just about the health. It's the holistic approach of health. The mind, the food that we eat, the interaction that we do with people. That's why it is said you have to balance socially, mentally, physically, and spiritually.
because there are chemicals inside our body are driving to balance that. And if we shut down any factor of that, any area of that input, it will cause imbalance. And that's why when we hear connect with God, connect with the highest meaning, that all my relationships are with him and everything that I gain from him, that's why it says sit with him. Meditate meaning sit and talk to him. So socially, you are taken care. As you're in his praise, you're dancing. As you're dancing, that's your physical exercise. As we are doing the breathing, we are doing in his remembrance. So the physical exercise is already done. Each inhalation should give you that zeal and enthusiasm. It cannot be such that it's a routine, I have to do it. You have to have that inside joy, happiness. So it's not so much in the action that we perform that gives the fruits, it's actually what we think that becomes the balancing act and the holistic approach to heal everything that we are facing. And relax, okay? So that was five minutes of inhalation and exhalation. Just continue to do this and don't worry about your immune system. When you do this five minutes, morning and night, afternoon, whenever you have time again, or during the day, every hour, 10 deep inhalation, exhalation. Should take care of whatever problems we have. Okay, our next breathing, Kapalbhati, forceful exhalation. Five minutes. Let's pay attention. And again, invoke that energy that I, the soul, am the healer of this body. As I'm doing forceful exhalation, I'm releasing all the negativity, all the knots that I have created. My body, each and every cells are being charged. All my diseases are gone. And I feel great, I feel fantastic. Just continue to churn that. So with your mind, you're churning that. With your exhalation, you're giving your body the exercise it needs. What more can you need? Everything is provided.
That's why they say to have good health, it's within your reach. To have good attitude is within your reach. To have anything that we need, the outside force is not needed actually. Everything we need is within us. That determination, willpower, whatever it is, it's within. And once that gets activated, rest is assured. It's very easy. But how do you keep that internal signal of what we have to do every day on? Correct? gets difficult sometimes in this day and age where the vibrations are very negative. How do you keep that zeal and enthusiasm? It surely is not in anyone's head. It's all in our head. So whatever you have to do to pinch yourself every day that I have to do it, I have to do it, go ahead and do that. And that's why they say any practice that you do, you continue for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, it becomes part of you. So initially it is a work, then it's nothing but enjoyment, happiness, bliss, because you're on track. Even when you're driving the car, when you reach a certain stage, you can put it on cruise control and it just goes. Just your awareness is required. Same thing to be holistically balanced with everything. Holistic approach needs to be in our life. One day we're flying, the other day we are down. <laughs> That's when we get hurt. Yeah, if you keep rising and falling, rising and falling, rising and falling. Once you have frozen, that's why they say once you have self-realized yourself what you need to do, hunting actually stops. There's no work. But what we do is we keep hunting for something better to come in our way. Your pure positive thoughts are always with you. Just bring them to work. Keep reminding yourself who you are, where you want to reach. Again, every single day. Check and change, check and change. We're all doing that. None of us are perfect, so every day, when we realize we have some lacking, we change and we, we achieve that balance. Every day it's a work. And relax. Wonderful. Okay, let's move on to our next breathing. Five minutes of Anulom Vilom. This will take care of the mental stress that we are all facing right now. What is going to happen in the world how, you know, about job, family, kids, everything. Yeah. So let's put ease to all of that. And when you start breathing in and out from left and right side, you balance that thinking. Close the right side. Inhale through the left. Exhale right. Inhale right. And exhale left. Inhale left. 
Exhale, right. Inhale, right. And exhale, left. Let's continue. All the chemicals in our body, whatever we need, we need balancing, they are within us. These chemicals, when they're imbalanced, for example, when you have blood pressure, it shows that something in you is imbalanced. What is the first question that arises in our mind? What is wrong with me? Instead of, what can I do? What have I done? What can I do to change? We opt for help outside. Because the help is provided outside, we think that will solve my problem. So instead of putting the responsibility effort on ourselves, we actually throw that on somebody else. And it is very easy option outside, right? The numbers, they check, and to balance those numbers, they give you pill, the numbers are balanced, and then you feel you're great. <laughs> For some people, there are side effects and they don't feel great, so they make other changes. So those chemicals that we put in slowly changes the chemical composition of our own body. Anything that you take in from outside affects the mind and body both. So for temporary, if we need to use it, use it. But after that, try to make some changes. That's why they say, if you don't change yourself, nothing will change. Change in our attitude, change in our habits, change in our discipline, whatever it takes. Make those changes and slowly those changes will give you that power that we all need. Our power is depleting because I, I can't really understand how do I control my blood pressure? How do I control my sugar? Or do I control my arthritis or any other diseases, imbalances? These are just the names. But when I understand that they should be in my control and they've been happening every single day. So even if I'm controlling and trying to get those numbers, numbers is not your emotions, numbers. Is not your health. The whole definition of health by number has actually brought us into this position of letting our strength go away. So you decide what number suits you that makes you feel good. Don't let anyone else determine what your number should be. It's a holistic approach. If your mind is satisfied with what you're doing, and your body is the signal that will tell you if you're doing something right. And if you're doing something right, that's it, continue on that path. What we do is we think there is another right after that, another right after that. So in that search, we kind of lose our hope. So hold on to that anchor, whatever it is 
That's why they say faith should be your anchor. Whether you see it or not, that should be. Hope should be your anchor. And relax. Wonderful. Okay, we did 15 minutes of breathing. Now we're going to do some exercises. So if you want to stand up and just shake your body right and left, just move your arms and your head and just loosen up, okay? And just smile, be happy. Be happy with everything that you have right now. Count your blessings. Count that you're being fed, you're given a shelter, a house to live. Whatever that makes you happy, just bring those thoughts in your mind and create that happiness. and relax. As we shake off anything that is not good and make sure you take in what is good for you with your hands in your playful position, we're gonna go ahead and inhale and bring both your shoulder blades together in the back and exhale, come back in. Wonderful, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. This exercises your upper back, it gives the strength so your spine can stay erect. And exhale. And one more time. And exhale. Wonderful. Okay. Now interlock your fingers on top of your head. And as you inhale, bring your arms up and stand up on your toes. And exhale down. Wonderful. Inhale. This is very good for the whole body. Called that also. Exhale down, inhale. Imagine all the energy rising from your toes all the way up to your head. Exhale down, inhale. Imagine we're standing on the top of the mountain. Master Almighty, powerful. Exhale down, inhale. And exhale down, wonderful, inhale. And exhale down, inhale. And exhale down, wonderful. And this is very good for kids who are not growing tall. And those who are older, it's very good for them too because our spine continues to shrink as we age. Arms straight, inhale, and go ahead and hug the whole world. Exhale, inhale, visualize I am so happy and healthy, and exhale, inhale, thank you for everything and go ahead and have that gratitude. Connect yourself and imagine you're hugging God, Supreme Soul. Exhale, inhale, visualize you're under his protection and nothing is going to happen to you. Exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Wonderful. Okay, all right. Now, with your right hand, 
we're going to go ahead and turn on the left side and just feel that stretch on the right side exhale come back and do the same thing on the other side inhale and release beautiful let's do that inhale and exhale the stretch feels very good we have organs that are connected on the right side and the left side your muscles your fat everything is getting the exercise right and exhale and one more time the left and exhale wonderful okay hope you're feeling great and now with your fingers go ahead and just bend them open and close just your knuckles and open and close you can open your fist and close keep breathing so the oxygen keeps going and relax wonderful arms straight <clears throat> inhale touch your shoulders exhale out and continue this inhale and exhale machine your body is your machine that's why you have to learn to utilize this machine not buy another machine your machine can do wonders and with the right attitude we can change anything and relax wonderful rotate your arms your shoulders should be rotating same time inhale and exhale just feel it your shoulders going around inhale and exhale and reverse <clears throat> inhale and exhale these are all the stretches for your joints and muscles yeah? all the joints we're doing the exercise so this is the foundation and relax Go ahead and put your hands on your shoulders, elbows in, up and around. Inhale, circle it and exhale down. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. and reverse inhale and exhale
Wonderful. Okay. Now let's do the neck. Inhale, look up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale right. And exhale. Inhale left. And exhale. Inhale right. Exhale. Inhale left. And exhale right. Left. Let's do clockwise. Inhale and exhale. And let's reverse. Inhale and exhale. And relax. Wonderful. Okay. Let's do our eyeballs. We're going to go ahead and just look straight. Just move the eyeballs up and down, up and down. Let's just continue to do that. Inhale and exhale. Up and down. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Just continue with right and left. Let's do clockwise. And reverse, very good for your eyes. So whenever your eyes are tired, just go ahead and continue. You can do this, whatever we are doing, you can do during the day, anytime, as many as time as you want. And relax. With your left hand, press the left side of your head. Right? So you're forcing it and your head is resisting it, okay? Middle. And behind. And relax. Wonderful. <clears throat> okay, so we did the upper body exercise. We did 15 minutes of breathing. Now we'll go ahead and do our next 10 minutes of breathing. We'll start with, again, our second phase of Kapalbhati, forceful exhalation. Every second one, visualize. All the organs in the midsection is getting the exercise. Actually, once you take out from your nose, breathe out, the midsection goes in. 
So what it does, it when it goes in, it exercises all those organs in the midsection. Your kidneys, your liver, your pancreas, your stomach, your intestines, gallbladder, everything is in the midsection. And accumulation of fat also happens in the midsection too. That's why they say when you gain weight in the midsection, it's not a good sign because all the organs are somehow imbalanced. So if you know any particular organ that you're working on, keep collecting vibrations of divine, supreme soul, God's energy, and radiate that to that organ that you know needs fixing. Visualize each and every organs are receiving all that it needs to balance. Visualize your pancreas, your stomach, intestines, everything is working perfect. Visualize your immune system is perfect. All the cells in the midsection, immunity is perfect. What you think you become, same thing with health. Actually, our body is driven by what we think. If the stress is too much in our mind, the body is going to feel the stress, normal, right? Action, reaction. What you saw, you reap. Calmness, peace, happiness. Those vibrations, the body will receive those same vibrations. Cause and action, action, reaction. So no matter how much your body is ill, don't worry about it. Don't let that illness of the body come to your mind. That's when you become victorious. Because if your mind is very powerful, the illness of the body cannot do anything. But if your mind takes on that toll of illness, it will take a very long time for the body to recover. That's why they say once the damage is done, it takes effort. <clears throat> so our effort should be that don't let any imbalance of the body come to your mind. That's why these number-driven system impacts directly to your mind. Although you may be feeling fine, check the blood pressure. <clears throat> the numbers are not according to its given format. The mind says, what's wrong? Why are they not? What's wrong with me? Although you're feeling fantastic, <laughs> you see how the mind works? And that is where the fear starts to come in. The fear is nothing but mind game. So don't let that mind bring that fear. Visualize that everything is under your control. Don't let outside anything control yourself. You should be controlling. And relax.
heal thyself. Okay, and let's go ahead and <clears throat> move on to our next breathing for our brain, left and right side. Close the right side. Inhale through your left. Exhale right. Inhale right. And exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. And continue. And continue as I'm talking because your actions are going to give you the benefit. Keep listening and continue with the action. Okay. So we do five breathing exercises. We start with chanting of all, which makes us understand that I am a soul, I'm not this body. My body is an instrument that is given to me and through the soul power, this body is working. So that is the Om, I the soul. The second breathing that we do is deep inhalation and exhalation. So your lungs capacity, you're actually increasing it by doing a deep inhalation and exhalation. When you do that, your oxygen level rises in your brain and all the degenerated cells regenerate and then it's a process degeneration regeneration continues to happen every single day every second actually as we are talking see it's happening but we don't know so our immune system is responsible for that so when we take a deep inhalation exhalation all that is happening your heart is beating the way it's supposed to your lungs are working perfectly. So your any illness related to respiratory, such as asthma, bronchitis, heart-related diseases, will actually go away. Okay. And then the third breathing that we do is Kapalpati. This one, it actually helps with all the imbalances in our whole body. This is a magic pill. So if somebody wants to lose weight, if somebody, somebody wants to control their blood pressure, if somebody wants to balance their mind, stress, anxiety, depression, if somebody wants to get rid of chronic illnesses, this is the magic pill. Okay, so we do this five minutes and then you can take one minute break, another five minutes and continue this for as much as you want, up to half an hour. And usually for the routine, you can do up to 10 minutes in which we do this in the class every Monday. And you can just continue to practice same thing for the rest of the six days. And then the next breathing that we are doing for the brain. So our brain sends all the signal to the body and through our thought process. What we think, the brain receives, signals are sent. So the seed, so right thinking, all of that happens as you balance the left and right side of the brain. So let's say if you're too much under stress, things going on outside in the world, how do you cope with it? Your thoughts are very negative. So when you do this breathing, your thoughts become actually balanced. Yeah. You're thinking more about the breath, the oxygen that comes, the intellect starts to open up and makes 
wise decisions then to think positive. So the brain is shifting from negative to positive. And then we do primary pranayam, that one which is going to be our next breathing, that also balances all the chaos, chaotic sounds that are happening in our mind, and we connect to that inner soul, that consciousness, and with divine. So those are the five breathing exercises that we do every day especially every Mondays. And then, of course, you're doing it every day. And check and see. This is the research you're doing. And then you experiment it. Yeah? After you experiment, you experience it. So start with it. And then after sometimes you feel great, then continue. Even the researchers, when they do any experiment, they go on for 20, 30 years to receive such a result that they're wanting. So for us, let's even try for a few months, <laughs> a few weeks if not, and see how your experience is going. And relax. Wonderful. Let's move on to our next breathing, Ramri. So close your ears, index finger on the forehead, gently close your eyes with, we'll do this five times. Pressure points, we're gonna clap our hands. Beautiful. And relax. Okay, hope everyone is feeling good. And now we're going to do our last exercises for the bottom. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get comfortable. Sit on the floor if you can. If you're sitting on the chair, no problem. With your right hand, just touch the left side and the right side. Just continue to do this. If you're sitting on the chair, no problem. You can still do this. Inhale and exhale. 
such a simple routine exercises that you have to just keep recording and then over time it will just keep playing. In the days that you don't do, your body is going to say, why did she do that? That made me feel good. <laughs> so anything that you see is good, will want more. And also, that is true for the opposite as well. And relax. Let's together, fold it down, back, very good. Continue to <clears throat> stretch, inhale and exhale. Wonderful. Okay. Should feel that stretch. Go down as far as you can till you feel the stretch and then bring it back. Inhale. This is not just exercising your ankles. It's actually exercising from your toes all the way up to your hip region. So all the nerves are connected. Okay. So this is a very, very good exercise. Don't think we're just moving our feet back and forth. Right and left. That's why these are subtle sukshma yogic stretches, which are very powerful. And around. Inhale and exhale. And reverse. Wonderful. Inhale and exhale. Okay, and toes in and out, circle them. And reverse. And wiggle your toes. And then tap your knees. And then go ahead and lock your kneecaps. So if you push your knees down, they're locked and release. Lock and release. Wonderful. Lock and release. Beautiful. Now interlock your fingers. Go around your toes and back and go as much as you can. You don't have to go around your toes if you're body isn't allowing you. So go as far as you can, even if you can go up to your halfway. That's great. Listen to your body eventually. Your body will loosen up and you'll be able to achieve your goal. Okay, inhale and exhale. And reverse. Wonderful. And <clears throat> last but not least, and if you're sitting on the chair and you cannot do this, 
Let's just move your legs up and down. And this is butterfly. And very good ex exercise for your hip region. And that was a complete yoga lesson from breathing to exercises to thinking right and becoming fearless. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the class and thank you all for joining. Om Shanti. If you have any questions, you can stay back. If not, thank you again.